So it is with that in mind, again, uh, I, I am not hopeful about where we're headed here. It is going to continue, as it has over the last three decades, to become an increasingly worsening situation and more troublesome, an increasingly larger disrespect from the public for our administration of justice. And as some of you might know, that's hoovering around 90% right now in British Columbia. So I am a, generally speaking, a strong supporter of Bill C-15. There, there's a few things that I, I have concerns about, but generally speaking, uh, it's, it's certainly better than what we have now, and I would say it, my biggest concern with it, it simply doesn't go far enough. We're, it's still, we're still tinkering with something, and we are digging ourselves into a big hole. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Plakas. And we have an enormously long list of questioners, so just before I turn to them, let me just ask one f for one clarification. The people who are getting, for example, eight day sentences that you referred to, would those sentences be for possession, by and large, or for no, that's production what, traffic? Actually, that eight days is across the board for all kinds of crimes. But, but I, I c can assure you, I have done at least 20 different studies, which included the looking at what happens to people when they are sentenced for the same crime over and over again. Mm -hmm. And as we all know, apparently judges take this into account as a single most aggravating factor in sentencing. That is not true. It is not even close to being true. Okay. As I said, we have a very long list uh, this morning. We're going to start with Senator Nolan, followed by Senators Rivet, Watt, Baker, Carignan, Wallace Milne, Angus and Joel. And colleagues, uh, I point out to you that Ms. Sheehy has to leave us at midday at the latest. Uh, so let's all try to be concise. I will indeed try to be concise. C-15 does not go as far as you would want. Uh, we were, yesterday, uh, we had a long uh, series of witnesses from the U.S. And uh, I understand that they went, the U.S. structure of sentencing using uh, MMS is, is, is in another world as what C-15 is contemplating. But uh, we've heard witnesses telling us it, uh, it doesn't work. It doesn't work to the effect that they are, the trend is going on the other, to the other, uh, in the other way, trying to get rid of MMS and going into more rehabilitation, giving, uh, giving a, a more uh, focused effort by the court to really uh, tackle the problem individually. We even had a witness, a witness, say, Mr. Sterling, uh, from the, uh, the um, I'll tell you, the um, Criminal Justice Policy Foundation from Washington, who told us the biggest driver of the violence is the prohibition itself, not the substance. So what do you say to that? Okay, well, one of the things I am reminded of again Assuming that we decriminalized, uh, and I think that we could, there's a number of reasons other than this whole violence thing that we could be discouraged from doing that. But I'm reminded that, again, 70% plus of what's produced here is for an export market. Prohibition, or, uh, moving away from prohibition is going to do nothing for us here on that. Uh, it is all about money. It is, it's a very easy kind of crime to do. Uh, that will not change. Uh, the other thing I am concerned about, when again, when I look at what I know about the history of, of uh, designer drugs, uh, there's a non-stop morphing into wh uh, whatever uh, is uh, the, the police are on top of. It, I can't imagine that a government could come up with a, uh, with a, a regime, a practice, 
which would allow there to be a sale of drugs that uh, organized crime wouldn't find some way to skirt around and find some variation of that, uh, which is a better product. And again, I'm reminded of the, the recent news about uh, cigarettes. Cigarettes are legal, and 50% of cigarettes sold to kids in this country are off the black market. Uh, I'm not confident that is uh, going to do it. But please give me an answer on the fact that the, uh, med uh, the mandatory minimum sentences does not work in the U.S. And no. they've done it for the last 30 years quite heavily. Okay. We've heard witnesses, uh, witness yesterday testimony to the effect that, uh, and I'm quite convinced that C-15 is not even uh, in the same league. But at the end of the day, it doesn't work. Okay. They're going to the other. No, no I, I, would, the other yeah, I think the reason they're moving away in the United States, and I think there's some good reason to do this, I would agree with that, with the move away, and that's simply because, as we, we all know, in the United States, they send people to jail for too long. Uh, they have too many people doing life on the installment plan. It's, it's one thing to talk about what we're doing. They, they basically created the opposite situation. They've taken it too far. But, but I would also say that people should be attentive to uh, the crime stats in the United States. Uh, it is not true that they have had uh, increases in crime in the United States. For the last 27 of, uh, 25 of 27 years, they've had year-over-year -year declines. Simultaneous to that, they've had year-over-year uh, -year declines in drug use, alcohol use, tobacco use, and that's true for every single grade for students from grade 8 through grade 12. Uh, they, on that front, despite all their problems and things we might not like about their sentencing practice, have done extremely well. I've also looked extensively at what goes on, at least in Washington State, our neighbor. Uh, when you think about it, what's different between growing something in British Columbia as opposed to growing it indoors in the United States? I mean, the houses are not, not entirely unalike. Uh, they could do that. They had, for those t 10 years that we were studying, they had virtually no grows in Washington State. They had virtually no hydroponic shops, and, uh, which are, were associated to grows, and uh, here we have uh, thousands of them. Uh, I, d I don't think that we should be, I d we should too quickly jump to the conclusion that their sentencing practices did not work. Uh, if you talk to people from the U.S. Bureau of uh, Prison Statistics, if you talk to people who worked in the U.S. Department of Justice in California, uh, they will tell you that, in fact, that there have been positive aspects to sentencing practices. Now, unfortunately, again, the problem is, and hopefully we never go down that path, they're sending too many people away for too long a periods of time. And I'm certainly not advocating uh, uh, mandatory penalty.